we're going to determine if each relation is a function or not. And if it is a function, then we're going to decide whether it's one to one. So in the first case, uh, we're given the domain. Remember the domain? That's the set of input or the set of x values. So this is the set of inputs. And then we have the range, which is the set of outputs. And so we want to see, so for a relation to be a function, that means that every input maps to exactly one output. So negative one maps to just one number. Zero maps to just one number. One maps to just one number. Two maps to just one number. And three maps to just one number. So yes, this is a function. Because it's a function, we now want to see whether it's one to one or not. So we're going to say yes, function. OK, so now it's one to one if every output has exactly one input. So seven has one input. It had an input of 1. 8 has one input. It had an input of negative 1. 9 has two inputs. That indicates that this function is not 1 to 1. And the notation for 1 to 1, you can just do 1 colon 1. So because of the 9 having two distinct inputs, it is not a 1 to 1 function. Looking at letter B, the domain here, we have negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. The range is 10, 20, and 30. So checking negative 3, negative 3 maps to just one number. We're good to go with negative 3. Negative 2, however, it maps to both 10 and 30. We can stop there. We now know this relation is not a function. Because it's not a function, we don't have to worry about checking whether it's 1 to 1, because it can't be. So that mapping is not a function. Next, we're given a table of values. In this table of values, our inputs are negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. I don't even have to look at the outputs to determine whether something's an input or not. As long as there is an output and all of these are unique, then we are dealing with a function, which these are all unique. So we would say yes, function. But now, to determine whether it's one to one, now we do look at the output. So the outputs, we have negative five, negative one, zero, one, and five. Since nothing repeats, that indicates that this function is one to one. We can say is one to one. Remember, this is just the number one colon one. One to one. Passes the test. The table in letter D, we have one, zero, zero, one, one. Okay, I said one twice, so because we have an input that repeats, that indicates that this is not a function. Since it's not a function, we don't have to look at whether it's one to one or not. 